So a lot of people have wanted me to compare the Traxxas Max to the Erevo 2.0. So in this video, that's what we're gonna do. So straight away, you can see that the Mini Max is a little bit smaller. Both have these quick release body shells. The Mini Max runs on 4S LiPo and has a little bit of a smaller motor. The Erevo runs 6S LiPo and a slightly bigger motor. Both of these cars are almost stock. The Mini Max has just got these aluminium hub carriers. The E-Revo's got its metal brace here and also the 7075 steering links. All right, let's take them out and give them hell. Number one bolt, footage! Here we go, to the moon! Minimax loves it! <laughs> Where did that go? Oh, uh oh! Battery's out. Oh! Oh dear. The clamp's gone. Game over on that one. Alright, next. On to the E-Revo. Oh, we just missed it. Martin aired it out off of that. Landed there and he broke the Typhon. Let's have a look. Uh-oh. It nearly killed me at the same time. What happened? Next, let's rip the E-Revo 2.0! ripping today <laughs> oh, guys this is really going well today Really enjoying it. What did? Oh, body's off. <laughs> oh, take note to the moon. Tumble, one bolt. Da 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 <laughs> oh, what's going on there? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> we have a single servo conversion in there, I forgot to tell you about that. Oh dear. Shock rod end gone. That'll splash out all the way around. 
<laughs> there you go, flash out to the moon. E Revo loving it. <laughs> oh no! Game over. Yeah, it's just pulled that out of there. It's been actually knackered for a while now. Could do with a new arm. <laughs> I keep missing it. Oh! <laughs> what? So both of these trucks are an absolute blast to drive. For me, I prefer the Mini Max. Um, it's probably more durable, but it is more unstable and it is more on the smaller side, so there's a little bit more of a handful. The E Revo seems to take the bumps better, it seems to be more stable, but it's not quite as durable. So, whichever one you prefer, guys, you're not really going to go far wrong with either of them, but for me, it's definitely got to be the Mini Max. And if you want to know where you can get these cars from and the modifications on them, there's going to be links to both of them down below. So, coming up in future videos, I'm just trying to get this little helicopter here to fly. Look at that, it's direct drive. I've got some M2C upgrades here to go on the Outcast 8S. Oh, and we've got this giant motor here to put in it too. We've got to rebuild the Weld Long Jump Competition car. So it caught fire a little while ago, and yeah, we're going to give it a full rebuild. Still got to fly these helis. I've got another one to build. Got some new motors turned up for the Project Weld's Fastest RC Car. I'm still waiting for lipos, and I'm waiting for warmer weather as well. The roads around here are all wet at the moment, and damp, and cold, and miserable. So we're going to be getting this out once the weather gets a bit better. But currently, the world record is 202 mile an hour so we've got to get it up to at least 203 mile an hour and guys I know I'm probably not going to pull it off right away but I'm going to keep going until we've pulled it off. We've got to do a little bit of work on the Armour Creighton 8S. It needs a big opinion on there or a smaller spur gear. We've got to gear it up a little bit. I reckon this has got 100 mile an hour in it. we just got to play a little bit with the gearing. So make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it.